Mahayana Buddhism encompasses not just a single group, but a collection of Buddhist traditions, including Zen Buddhism, Pure Land Buddhism, and Tibetan Buddhism. Mahayana means the great vehicle, or greater vehicle, and is an amplified, more spiritualized Buddhist vision, adding devotionalism and complex metaphysics to the psychological pragmatism of the original teachings. The formation of this faith came as a path available to people of all walks of life, not just the monks and ascetics. In fact, Mahayana Buddhists teach that enlightenment can be attained in a single lifetime, and can even be accomplished by a layperson. Today, there are roughly 185 million followers. It teaches that all people universally can achieve nirvana, a place of perfected peace and happiness, much like the Christian concept of heaven, which is often seen as a state of enlightenment. However, in Mahayana Buddhism, nirvana is the lesser goal, with the higher goal being that of Buddhahood, in which a Buddha continues to take rebirths in the world to help liberate beings from mental captivity by teaching the Buddhist path. Thus, a bodhisattva, an important concept in Mahayana, is a person who is able to achieve nirvana, but delays it out of compassion to save suffering beings. Mahayana began as a movement between 100 BC and 100 AD, and by the 9th century was the most dominant influence on the Buddhist culture across Central and East Asia. Since its origin, it has divided into many sub-schools and sects, with a vast range of doctrines and practices. This includes Vajrayana schools, such as Tibetan Buddhism, which are often counted as a separate yana, or vehicle, but which are founded on Mahayana teachings. Because of this fractal in nature, it is often difficult to make blanket statements about Mahayana that hold true for the entire faith. In Mahayana Buddhism, the historical Buddha is regarded as a physical manifestation of the true body of Buddha, which could be described as a holy trinity of Buddhism. Described in the Trikaya doctrine, a Sanskrit scripture translating to three bodies, which are the truth body, the body of mutual enjoyment, and the created body. The truth body embodies the principle of enlightenment and knows no limits or boundaries. The body of mutual enjoyment is a body of bliss or clear light manifestation, and the created body, which manifests in time and space as a physical body. Thus, in Mahayana, it is believed that Buddha is beyond a human, but a formless, cosmic, spiritual body, which is also the ultimate nature of reality itself. Thus, the entire universe exists within and a part of the Buddha. This infinite reality also contains an infinite number of beings, and thus, an infinite number of Buddhas. It is through devotional practices that we may communicate with these non-physical divine forms, Buddha, and other enlightened beings. These divine forms are also the source of freshly revealed scriptures, called the sutras, which describe these devotional practices and new metaphysics. Reality is often compared with a magical illusion or a dream. All phenomena are considered empty, meaning they lack any discernible substantial essence and have no independent existence outside of the mind. The most commonly known sutra across Mahayana is the Lotus Sutra, and the most common practices among these Buddhists are meditation, chanting, hand gestures called mudra, and bowing. Progress on the path involves the cultivation of compassion, alongside insight into emptiness. More succinctly, all that is required is to purify the mind, allowing the inherent qualities of ultimate reality the Buddha nature that exists within all beings, to shine through. Mahayana Buddhism delights in paradox and shifting perspectives. Devotees aspire to be reborn in the realm of Amitabha, the Buddha of endless light, who actually exists within each person as the true nature of the mind. The path involves the laborious savings of countless suffering beings, but upon investigation, all beings are seen as empty, there are really no beings, and so, no path. Everything is perfect as it is. There is nothing to do except flow.